All right, guys, today we'll do something a little different. Let's talk about CB antennas and no ground. All right, let's say you're getting ready to mount your antenna. First thing you can do is figure out where you're mounting it and turn your meter on ohms. Go to your battery or the ground strap in your car. And what you want to do is you want to check it for conduit to see if it's got ground. In other words, like fixing where the beeps when it goes together, like so. And some of you may already know this, some of you may not. You put it on your bracket, go to your battery. If you ain't got no ground, you got a problem. Go to your ground strap, if you ain't got no ground, you got a problem. All right, now let's talk about the biggest mistake everybody makes, and that's why I'm making this video. They mount it on their wherever, and they don't have no ground. Okay, let's just put a piece of wire on the bracket and go all the way to the frame. Bah, wrong answer. Now I want to explain this because people's doing this and it's causing them to tear up their boxes. When if this antenna, if this bracket wasn't mounted on ground, and you put a piece of wire on it, and you run it to your frame, that piece of wire now becomes part of your antenna, like a dipole. So there you go, you're messing your antenna up again. End result, blow it up box. Okay, let's talk about how to do this properly. Now what you'd want to do is you want to use the shortest piece of wire as possible as you can. You hook it to the bracket. You go to the first piece of metal. Let's just use a solder iron tray for the first piece of metal. Try to give you an idea. You go to the first piece of metal, okay? Closest piece of metal from the bracket to the closest piece of metal. And then you come off that piece of metal with another ground wire and you go to the next piece of metal. Let's just use this linear case. So the way you do it is you would go all right, let's just say you can do this as much as you can. You would go bracket, wire, metal, metal, wire, metal. And then at the end, you come over here and you go on this piece of metal and go to the front. This way you have an indirect ground that does not become part of the antenna. And then you set your SWRs and you're good to go. But as far as running a straight piece of wire to the frame on a solid piece of long wire, no, 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 no. You would tear up your equipment. Remember, bracket, short wire, short as possible to the first piece of metal. First piece of metal, short as possible to the next piece of metal. Next piece of metal to the frame. I just want to make that video real quick. I hope it helps some of you guys out there on the installs. And you need an MFJ analyzer. And if you'll go back and watch my jumper video, it'll show you match your coax with the analyzer. And after you get all your coax matched up, make sure this is grounded, then set your SWRs with the analyzer. And it needs to be below 1.3, or lower really, X equals zero, close to 50 ohms as possible. You can go 45 or 55, or you can even go 40 or 60. But just make sure it's 1.3 or less. And another thing about any kind of amplifier, if you're going to put it in, you run hot and ground. You run a hot wire and a ground wire all the way to the battery. Now, if you want to keep a short ground for your amp, you bolt, you run a short ground from your amp to the like first bolt under your seat, then run a bolt, then run a wire from that bolt in the seat all the way to the battery. But always, all the way to the battery. Hope this video is informative. Just trying to help you out and make your equipment last longer and protect your investment. Thanks for watching, your friend in 10, 018 Beavis, catch you later.